Good morning, friends and nature lovers. Welcome to Nature Drawing Wednesdays. My name is Lisa, and I'm with the Peel Field Centers, and you're joining us here for Peel Connected. Today, we are going to learn how to draw a dragonfly. During this video, at any time, if you'd like to pause it to catch up because you feel I might be going a bit too fast, feel free to do so. You're going to need a pencil, paper, and some pencil crayons before we get started. Now, if you're ready to draw, we are going to begin by making just a very light circle with our pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm going to do everything in pencil first, and then outline our lines with a marker as we go. From here, we are going to draw the thorax. So at the sides of the head, you're going to do two angled lines down, and they're going to come down like this. I recommend using a ruler to create a straight line through the middle of the thorax. And we're going to bring that down quite a ways here for the abdomen of the dragonfly. From here, we are going to connect the bottom of the thorax and bring our line all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to curve it down just like this. Our next step, we are going to draw some eyes and a face on our dragonfly here. Dragonflies have massive compound eyes, so start by making a V-shape and then bringing it out and around on the sides. We're going to draw a little line across here and a little something like that. Now, dragonflies also have really big mouths, and we love that about them because that means uh, there's a lot of room for them to eat mosquitoes. Yahoo, dragonflies. Okay, we'll get back to that shortly. Let's move on to the wings. From the middle of the thorax, you are going to draw almost like a teardrop shape that goes out. And you're going to do the same on the other side, trying to create a sense of balance and symmetry. Now, dragonflies have four wings, and when they're resting, they lay them flat like this. So we're going to do two more wings in a similar shape just below. And same on the other side. Now we can take our marker and start our outline. So everything that you have here, we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Now the wings are see-through, so it's okay to have the thorax lines showing. I'm going to curve that. I'm going to get right into this face here. On the eyes. You have any pencil lines showing after you're done tracing, you can feel free to erase those. There's our big mouth, our big mosquito eating mouth. Yahoo! Forgot a step in the abdomen here. We're going to do a couple of curves just like this. Okay, so when I fill those in, I want to come out just a little bit where those are to give a little depth to the body. And then at the very bottom on this little loop, I'm actually going to put a little breathing tube just like that. Now, the fun part is filling in and designing the wings. I want you to be creative and figure out what design you would like to do inside the wings. You can do swirls, you can do various colors, you can do some intricate designs if you feel so. I'm going to show you really quickly how to put some uh, typical vein lines into those wings and go from there. 
So again, that sense of symmetry can be important, but not necessary. Go across. And this is the part you can really have fun with, choosing different colors, different shapes. Really, this is your dragonfly to design and decorate however you'd like. Here we are. Now, the fun part about this, uh, once you are finished, once you've got it colored in, you get to turn it over. And there you'll see him looking at you and ready to fly off to eat some food. Thank you for joining me today. Please feel free to hashtag us, hashtag Peel Connected, and join us on Twitter and Instagram for following updates and more interesting dragonfly facts. See you next time.